don't usually think of school lunch. That's right, but in this week's Acts of Kindness, Ashley Hendricks takes us to one Goochland High School where one woman begs to differ. Inside this cafeteria, Robbie, turkey sandwich. A warm smile is always on the menu. Hello, Ms. Hello, my love. She's the most sweethearted person you'll ever meet. Here at Benedictine College Prep, these cadets can't wait for lunchtime. Not just to eat. How you doing, love? But to simply talk. You got a turkey sandwich and apple. With Mrs. Johnson. I love you so much. She might think she flies under the radar or something like that, but we all appreciate her greatness and her kindness. Yeah, Freddie got a turkey sandwich. She may be small in stature, but her heart couldn't be bigger. So big, parents have noticed. Over the years, I've heard all the just countless acts of kindness that she does for everyone, and they mean the world to these kids. Including Sheila Adair's son, Jacob, a junior at the Catholic Military School. She can tell when you're having a bad day, and she'll pull you aside, and she'll talk to you about it and just make sure you're doing all right. Jacob says Mrs. Johnson hasn't missed a day since he started. For six years now, she's come from behind the lunch counter to serve something more fulfilling, mentorship. It is amazing. She, it's just a comfort that someone cares so much about our kids. Sheila says it was only right for Mrs. Johnson to be showered with the same love she gives her students every day. Mrs. Johnson, I nominated you for the Act of Kindness Award for NBC 12 because of everything that you do for these kids. They're like your own and we love you so much as they do and the moms are so thankful for you. So here is $300 and a $50 gift card to Mexico restaurant. And thank you so much. I appreciate it. I feel so much love. You see, I'm a very emotional person, but I love them like my own. While she loves the girls at the sister school, St. Gertrude, she argues the boys have really stolen her heart. They always say, Ms. Johnson, are you coming to the game? If I don't have to work my other job, I'll say, yeah, I'm going to come and support you. Mrs. Johnson spends most evenings at Kohl's, working her second job. But clocking in here doesn't feel like work, she says, while making rounds to see her students. How are you doing today? Some of whom will graduate this year, but her love will never be out of reach. I wrote a few special letters, and then I wrote a letter overall to all of them as well, because I didn't want them to feel left out. But a few that I've walked through since they've been freshmen, I just try to sp spend the special moments with them because you never know what might be going on different outside of school. Ms. Johnson, on behalf of the Corps, thank you for everything you've done for us, and I really appreciate it, and all of us do. So. Thank you. I appreciate you, too. Small servings of kindness. Thank you. I love all of you. I love all of you. Making a big difference in their lives. On your side, Ashley Hendricks, NBC 12.